In this video we are going to talk about some facts and curiosities about some of the most popular and interesting instruments from different parts of the world, like the piano, the bagpipes, and the trumpet. So keep watching, and let's go! Welcome to our video about musical instruments. Music is one of the oldest forms of artistic expression and has been an important part of human culture for thousands of years. Musical instruments are the tools used to create this sound art and exist in an incredible variety of forms, sounds, and styles. In this video, we will explore some of the most popular and interesting instruments from different parts of the world, as well as learn a little about the history behind each one. Get ready for an exciting journey through music and the instruments that make it possible. The piano is a musical instrument with a keyboard that produces sounds by striking strings with hammers. It has a long and fascinating history that dates back to the early 18th century. The first piano, also known as the pianoforte, was invented by Bartolomeo Cristofori in Italy around 1700. Cristofori's piano was a revolutionary instrument that allowed players to play both loud and soft notes with greater control than the harpsichord, which was the most popular keyboard instrument at the time. The piano's sound was produced by hammers that struck the strings, rather than by plucking them like a harpsichord. This gave the piano a greater range of expression and made it possible to play both melodies and accompaniments with greater nuance. The first pianos were quite different from the modern instrument we know today. They were much smaller and had only a few octaves, and lacked many of the features that we now take for granted, such as sustained pedals and a full set of AE keys. Despite its limitations, the piano quickly became popular throughout Europe and was soon adopted by many of the leading composers of the day. Composers such as Mozart, Beethoven, and Chopin wrote some of their greatest works for the piano, and the instrument became a symbol of elegance and refinement in 19th century Europe. Over the years, the piano continued to evolve and improve. Innovations such as the double escapement mechanism, which allowed players to repeat notes rapidly and accurately, and the introduction of the sustained pedal, which allowed for greater control over the sound, made the piano even more versatile and expressive. In the 20th century, the piano became a staple of popular music, used in everything from jazz to rock and roll. With the advent of electronic keyboards and synthesizers, the piano's influence has only continued to grow, and it remains one of the most beloved and versatile musical instruments in the world today. The accordion is a musical instrument that is popular in many different cultures and musical genres. It is a type of portable wind instrument that consists of a set of bellows that are squeezed by the player, causing air to flow over reeds inside the instrument, producing sound. The exact origins of the accordion are unclear, but it is believed to have been developed in Europe during the early 19th century. The accordion was originally based on earlier instruments such as the Chinese sheng and the harmonica, and was developed independently in several different countries, including Germany, Italy, and Russia. One of the first widely recognized accordions was invented by Christian Friedrich Buschmann in Germany in 1822. Buschmann's instrument was called the Handialine and consisted of a small keyboard and bellows, with one or two reed pipes attached to each key. The modern accordion was developed in the 1830s by Cyril Damien, an instrument maker in Vienna, Austria. Damien's accordion had a larger range of notes than Buschmann's instrument and featured a treble keyboard on one side and a bass keyboard on the other. This allowed for more complex music to be played on the instrument. The accordion quickly gained popularity throughout Europe and became a staple of folk music in many countries, particularly in France, Italy, and Germany. In the early 20th century, the accordion was adopted by American musicians and became a popular instrument in jazz and dance music. In the 1930s and 40s, 
The accordion was further developed with the introduction of new technologies such as amplification and electronic sound effects. Today, the accordion remains a popular instrument in many different musical genres, including folk music, jazz, and world music. It is known for its unique sound and its ability to convey a wide range of emotions in listeners. The accordion has continued to evolve and adapt to new musical styles and technologies, ensuring that it will remain an important part of musical culture for years to come. The trumpet is a brass instrument with a long and rich history that can be traced back to ancient times. The exact origins of the trumpet are unclear but it is believed to have evolved from early instruments made from animal horns or shells, which were used for signaling and communication. The trumpet as we know it today began to take shape during the Middle Ages, when musicians began to add finger holes to the instrument to create different pitches. By the Renaissance period, the trumpet had become a popular instrument in courtly music, and composers such as Giovanni Gabrielli and Claudio Monteverdi wrote works specifically for the trumpet. During the Baroque period, the trumpet underwent significant changes, including the addition of valves and the use of different materials such as brass and silver. These innovations allowed for greater flexibility and range of the instrument, and composers such as Bach and Handel wrote famous works featuring the trumpet. In the 19th century, the trumpet continued to evolve, with the development of piston and rotary valves, which allowed for even greater range and control. The trumpet also became an important instrument in military bands and orchestras, and it was used extensively in operas and other large-scale productions. In the 20th century, the trumpet underwent further innovations, including the development of jazz and other popular styles of music, which used the trumpet as a lead instrument. Famous jazz trumpet players such as Louis Armstrong and Dizzy Gillespie helped to popularize the instrument and bring it to a wider audience. Today, the trumpet remains a popular and versatile instrument, used in a wide range of musical genres, including classical, jazz, rock, and pop. It is known for its distinctive sound and its ability to convey a wide range of emotions, from joyful and celebratory to mournful and introspective. The trumpet continues to evolve and adapt to new musical styles and technologies, ensuring that it will remain an important part of musical culture for generations to come. The bagpipes are a type of wind instrument that has a long and rich history. Their exact origins are uncertain, but it is believed that they were developed independently in various cultures throughout the world, including India and the Middle East. The modern bagpipes as we know them today originated in Scotland in the 15th century. They became an important part of Scottish culture and were used in various social and ceremonial events, including weddings, funerals, and military marches. The Scottish bagpipes consist of an airbag made of animal hide, with pipes that are played using a blowpipe and a set of bellows. Over time, bagpipes became popular in other parts of the world, including Ireland, England, and the United States. Each culture developed its own unique style of bagpipe, with variations in size, shape, and tuning. The bagpipes have had a strong association with military and marching bands. They were used extensively in both world wars, and have since become a symbol of Scottish and Irish heritage around the world. Today, the bagpipes remain a popular instrument in traditional folk music, and are also used in a variety of other genres, including rock and pop music. They are known for their unique and distinctive sound and continue to be an important part of cultural traditions and celebrations. The maracas are a percussion instrument that consists of a pair of hollow gourd-like shells or spheres filled with seeds, beads, or stones, which are then attached to handles. The instrument is held in both hands and shaken to produce a rattling or shaking sound. The exact origins of the maracas are unclear but they are believed to have originated in Latin America,
particularly in indigenous cultures in the Andean region of South America. They were originally made from natural materials such as gourds and seeds, and were used in various ceremonial and festive occasions. Maracas were eventually introduced to Europe and North America in the 18th and 19th centuries through trade and cultural exchange. They quickly became popular in various musical genres, including classical, folk, and popular music. They were particularly prominent in Latin American music styles such as salsa, samba, and mariachi. In the 20th century, Maracas continued to evolve and adapt to new musical styles and technologies. They were incorporated into jazz and rock music, and electric maracas were even developed. Today, maracas remain a popular percussion instrument used in a wide range of musical genres and cultures, and are known for their unique sound and rhythmic versatility. The ukulele is a small four-stringed instrument that is widely associated with Hawaiian music and culture. Its history can be traced back to the 19th century, when Portuguese immigrants brought a small guitar-like instrument called the machete to the Hawaiian Islands. Over time, the Hawaiians adapted the instrument and made it their own, renaming it the ukulele, which roughly translates to jumping flea in Hawaiian. The ukulele became a popular instrument in Hawaiian music, and in the early 20th century, it became associated with American popular music as well, with performers such as Roy Smek and George Formby popularizing the instrument. The ukulele's popularity continued to grow throughout the mid-20th century, with the instrument being used in a wide range of musical genres, including jazz, folk, and rock and roll. In the 1950s, the television show The Arthur Godfrey Show featured a regular ukulele player, and the instrument enjoyed a resurgence in popularity. Today, the ukulele remains a popular instrument, with a wide range of styles and sizes available to players. Its small size and simple playing technique make it an ideal instrument for beginners, and its unique sound continues to be associated with the laid-back, relaxed lifestyle of Hawaii. The ukulele is also used in a variety of musical genres, from traditional Hawaiian music to pop and rock. The sitar is a plucked stringed instrument that originated in the Indian subcontinent. Its exact origins are unclear, but it is believed to have evolved from similar instruments such as the vena and the rudra vena, which date back to ancient times. The modern sitar as we know it today was developed in the 18th century, and it has since become one of the most iconic and recognizable instruments of Indian classical music. The sitar is made of wood and has a long neck with 20 frets and 6 or 7 strings. Its most distinctive feature is its gourd-shaped resonating chamber, called a tumba, which amplifies the sound of the strings. The sitar is played with a plectrum called a miserable, which is worn on the index finger of the player's right hand. The sitar became popular in the West during the 1960s, thanks in part to musicians like Ravi Shankar, who introduced the instrument to audiences around the world. The sitar has since been used in a wide variety of musical genres, from Indian classical music to rock and pop. Today, the sitar remains an important instrument in Indian classical music, and it continues to evolve and adapt to new musical styles and technologies. It has inspired countless musicians and audiences around the world, and it remains an iconic symbol of Indian culture and music. These instruments are just a small sampling of the incredible diversity of musical instruments that exist in the world. From the piano to the maracas, each instrument has its own unique sound and character, and together they create the rich tapestry of sound that we call music. Thank you for watching. And subscribe to watch more videos from All You Wanted to Know, Answers Unleashed here.